Okay, I have to make this video because a lot of people right now, especially the fact that we're in 2021, a lot of people seem to be buying this game again. A lot of new people are interested in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I'm a, I'm a little bit surprised. I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this video are surprised by hearing that. Because earlier today, I just had one of you guys, or one person, I forgot his name, I apologize. He just messaged me on YouTube saying he just bought the game and he's happy with this game. He's, he's, he's excited for DLC 3 to come. He also said he wanted to thank me and some of you guys for actually helping him, encouraging him to get this game. And honestly, I'm grateful to hear that. But the fact of the matter is, when I made that video yes, uh, a couple days ago and filmed my other video last week, a lot of people seem to get the wrong idea of what I was saying because when I said Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is kind of dead, a lot of people got the wrong idea. Some people got angry because I said that. Now, let me make things clear because some people like to jump to conclusion without even hearing the full context of the conversation, what I'm saying to you guys. So, when I mentioned that about Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, I don't mean... The game is terrible. I don't mean the game is a bad game or the game is quote unquote dead. What I mean by that is the game doesn't really have enough content to keep the fans around. You guys can all agree with me on that because Kakarot is a single player game and many single player games, especially with Dragon Ball game, is not many of them around. And there is a reason for that because this generation we're in, everybody is interested in a multiplayer and online game because that's what keep the fans around. That's what give the, give the game more content to make the game last longer, to make the game have more money or invest more money in it and more content to come out for this game. But with Kakarot, it's a single player game, it doesn't really have that leverage like Dragon Ball Xenoverse or, or Dokkan or Legends or all those other games. But we are expecting DLC 3. Now, before I end this video, I do want to touch on the free update we are going to be getting for this game. You guys been knowing, I've been talking about the anniversary um, later this month and that is definitely going to happen. We are definitely going to get the anniversary for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Now it should be in a couple of weeks from now, but on the anniversary, I'm expecting us to get quote unquote um, a release date announced or like a trailer for DLC 3 and most especially an update, a brand new update dropping for this game. Now, going over to DLC 3, I just want to touch on this a little bit quick. A lot of people, are, a lot of you guys actually that watch my video are expecting us to get the Goku Black arc or even the Universe 6 arc. And honestly, if you know me, because I've been talking about this for a while, what I think DLC 3 is going to be, it doesn't mean I'm right, but it also doesn't mean I'm wrong. It's just my own opinion. But I respect everyone's opinion. You guys might be right on that. But what I think DLC 3 could be is the Tournament of Power or something completely new. What I mean by that is I do expect Ultra Instinct to be in this game. I expect Goku Ultra Instinct form to be in this game. A lot of you guys keep forgetting this. Ultra Instinct itself is in this game. If you go train with Whis, Whis will perform the Ultra Instinct technique. But the transformation for Goku, quote unquote, is not in this game yet. But we should expect it to see this in this game. Because Ultra Instinct is the biggest thing in Dragon Ball nowadays. It just got released for Dragon Ball Legends and Durkan. So you can expect to, uh, Dams and Cyber Connect 2 to release Ultra Instinct in Kakarot, maybe for like a free update or part of DLC 3. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. The anniversary is very soon. We are expecting big things for this game. 2021, we are expecting something big for Dragon Ball, guys. And also, next week, I am planning on um, releasing more video for Dragon Ball Super because Super is returning, uh, like a rerun. But also, they just got announced for the manga. A brand new arc has been released. So, I want to touch on Dragon Ball Super on this channel because this channel is going to be big. I want to do something great. I don't just want to focus my channel on Kakarot content because we are expecting a brand new Dragon Ball game later this year. So, please be expecting that next week. And please subscribe to the channel if you're new. Have an amazing day. I love you guys. And peace out.